Lalang and Chitilu Rice Terraces in Bali. If you're a photographer seeking to capture Bali's beautiful emerald hued rice fields, the Tiglalang or Jitiluwi rice terraces are a must see. About a 30 minute drive north of Ubud, Tiglalang rice terraces are one of the most famous areas to photograph these iconic landscapes and absorb their timeless beauty. Be aware that locals ask for donations along the most popular trail through the rice fields here and many request fees for entrance and parking along the road. A relaxing way to enjoy the lush landscapes is at one of the many restaurants and cafes overlooking the fields. Mount Bata Every day in Bali's pre-dawn darkness, hundreds of visitors begin the trek up the 1700 meter summit of Mount Bata to watch the sun rise above the lush mosaic of mist shrouded mountains and the caldera far below. This sacred active volcano lies in Kintamani district in Bali's central highlands, about an hour's drive from Ubud, and the hike to the summer to watch the sunrise has long graced the list of top things to do in Bali. The hike along the well-marked trails is relatively easy and usually takes about two to three hours. Guided treks typically include a picnic breakfast, with eggs cooked by the steam from the active volcano. On a clear day, the views are spectacular, stretching all the way across the Bata Caldera, the surrounding mountain range, and beautiful Lake Bata, the island's main source of irrigation water. Puritanalot About 20 kilometers northwest of Kita, Puritanalot is one of Bali's most iconic temples thanks to its spectacular seaside setting on rocky islets surrounded by crashing waves. For the Balinese people, it is one of the most sacred of all the island's sea temples. Every evening, throngs of tourists from Kuta, Legion, and Sana find their way through a labyrinth of lanes lined by souvenir sellers to watch the sun setting behind the temple. Puritana Lot was built at the beginning of the 16th century and is thought to be inspired by the priest Naratha, who asked local fishermen to build a temple here after spending the night on the rock outcrop. You bud monkey forest. Only 10 minutes walk south of the town center in New Bud. The Monkey Forest, also known as the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary, is one of the top attractions in this tourist town and a must-see for animal lovers and photographers. Besides the entertaining troops of grey long-tailed macaques that make their home here, a large part of the appeal is the evocative jungle setting where the monkeys roam free. Paved pathways lead through thick forests of giant banyan trees and nutmeg, where moss-covered statues and ancient temples loom through the dense foliage, imparting an almost mystical feel. The forest is intended to represent the harmonious coexistence between humans and animals. It also conserves rare plants and is used as a location for researching macaque behavior, particularly their social interaction. Aluwatu Temple Presiding over plunging sea cliffs above one of Bali's best surf spots, Aluwatu Temple, Poralohar Aluwatu, is one of the island's most famous temples, thanks to its magnificent clifftop setting. In Balinese, Alu means tip or land's end and Watu means rock, a fitting name for the location of the temple on the Bukit Peninsula along the island's southwestern tip. Like Puritan a lot. Sunset is the best time to visit, when the sky and sea glow in the late afternoon light.